Good afternoon, students. Uh, now, I will uh, continue the chapter discussion of chapter types of hardware. Yes, uh, discuss about uh, different uh, memory devices. There are some uh, magnetic, uh, some uh, optical, some flash memories are there. But today we will start the discussion of input and output. So input devices, so input devices are used to get the input from user. So this input may be any any type of uh, data. Okay. So it may be any type of uh, uh, your instruction. Clear. Yeah? So in input. We include instructions and data. Both of things we are including. Clear? Suppose I am uh, right click on any icon and then click on rename. It means we are giving the instruction to the computer. Okay. So in input, we take both. We take both input uh, the instructions and uh, the data. Now, input devices are used for giving the instructions or data to the computer system. There are different type of uh, input devices. There are some very common input devices are there. Okay, we are going to discuss that. First one is, this is very famous, keyboard. So the keyboard is just like the typewriter. So uh, this is a typewriter, uh, very old technologies. This may have to pass a metal type box. Hota hai. There, there are different keys on that. We insert paper inside the keyboard. And uh, when we press the any key, then there is a uh, one key arm that hit on the ribbon and the ink on uh, ribbon give impact on the paper. So this is a just like a typewriter. So, uh, this is a typewriter. So the keyboard of type uh, uh, is just like the typewriter. So in a typewriter, there are different keys, but uh, present point in time, we are following that. So there is a QWERTY keyboard. Why it is called QWERTY keyboard? Because in the alphabet key, first line is Q, W, E, R, T, Y, these keys are in a sequence. If that's why these are called quartic keyboard. Now, who will tell what is the benefit of quartic keyboard? Yes, any student. Benefit or advantage of quartic keyboard? Yes. Sir, so, uh, so the keys are divided equally on the keyboard so that writing can, can be fast. Typing oh, yes, can be fast. Very good. Fast. So some important keys are in one side, some important keys are in another side. So there is an equally distribution of a walk. So this is a benefit of QWERTY keyboard. Otherwise, if we use A, B, C like this in a sequence, then uh, important keys will be in one side and unimportant keys will be in another side and it will reduce the speed of typing. So whenever uh, you want to use the good speed for typing, use always QWERTY keyboard. So in a QWERTY keyboards, there are different uh, keys. There, uh, there are the different type of uh, keyboards. One is a standard keyboard in which there are only 80, around 80, approximately 80 keys are there. But there is a one uh, enhanced keyboard in which there are near about 104 keys are there. So there are some multimedia keyboards are there in that. There, is a, uh, key, uh, there are some keys that are used for controlling the multimedia, like sound, okay? So according to the purpose, there are different types of keyboards are there, clear? So mostly we are using wired keyboard, but there are some wireless keyboard in which there is no any wire with the help of a, a, your USB port. There, is, there are some signals, Wi-Fi signals are there. By using that, we can use the keys and in the same time we will type the that data in the computer system. So this is 
about keyboard. Now next is mouse. The next input device is mouse. So mouse is just like a uh, it's a pointing device. So when we move the mouse on uh, your uh, on uh, mouse pad, there is a cursor move in the screen, and there is an arrow sign shown there. Okay, so this mouse is used for selection and also opening or closing any particular application or document. Clear? Yeah? So it is a pointing device. So mouse. Again, of different type of mouse are there. Some mouses are uh, mechanical, in which ball is inside uh, the mouse, and uh, when we move the mouse, the ball is also move, uh, movement in ball. Ball is also there, and uh, the uh, pointer move in the screen. And there are laser mouse, okay, in which laser light inside uh, the mouse that find out the which area. Is used for move, uh, movement of your mouse. Okay. Third one is there are some uh, wireless uh, mobiles are there in which there is no need of any type of wire. Only the wireless signals are there with the help of wireless signals. The movement of a pointer is controlled. So these are, this is about mouse. So mouse is a pointing device. So we use the mouse pointer is a arrow. So there are three buttons in mouse, right, left, and there is a scroll button. Right button, when we press, one shortcut menu is appear according to the purpose. Okay, for example, in a, in a desktop, if I press right click in empty area, there is a view, sort by, refresh, paste, paste, shortcut, un, undo copy. These are the options that appear. These are special options. Okay, when we use left key, it is used for selection. And if we press single click, it is the file of uh, that particular folder is selected. And on double click, we open the file or folder or software. So, and scroll button is used for fast scrolling in your document. So, in case of the MS Word, name, uh, uh, there is a very, very uh, big uh, document is here. And you want to provide the fast scrolling in that case, scroll button is activated. Okay, students, any doubt in this? So, uh, we have uh, uh, discussed here input devices, keyboard, mouse, mic. Then we discuss scanner. There are three types of scanner, handheld, flatbed, and drum scanner. Then we discuss about concept keyboard, then touch screen, barcode reader, QR reader. Then after that, there we discussed OMR, OCR, and MICR. MICR used in bands. At the bottom of uh, your pen, check there are some numbers are printed in a special format, and these numbers are printed in a magnetic ink. With the help of MICR, when we read these uh, special characters, there is a some hidden information inside that that displayed on the screen, like a uh, account number name of the account holder, then uh, the branch name, all of these things are displayed in the screen when we use MICR machine, Magnetic Ink Character Reader. Then there is a light pen. Light pen basically is an input device that is used to draw something on your computer system. Okay, so with the help of light pen, we can write something on your screen. So if you want to write something on your screen, so like with the help of light pen, 
we can do this so this is uh, all about your input devices so any doubt in input devices data priyanshika clear yes sir okay so in your paper questions are like uh, name any four input devices okay then uh, full form like uh, omr ocr micr then uh, mic full form is microphone qr reader means quick response reader so these are the different type of questions like a uh, question may be like uh, which device is a pointing device so there is a mouse another pointing the device is joystick joystick is used for playing the game otherwise we play the game with the help of mouse so we, there are some control buttons like a right button and left button we use that but when you use uh the uh, joystick then there are some control buttons are there and with the help of that we are controlling the game so next is this is also input device now next is our output devices so just like a input device these are used for getting the uh, giving the uh, data or instruction to the computer system there is a output device that used to get the process data from your computer system there are different uh, output devices these are number 1 monitor okay then there is a projector then speaker speakers then plotter so all of these are your output devices so first one monitor so monitor is a screen that display whatever you are doing in your computer system so sometime we call monitor as a screen okay there are different type of monitors the another name of monitor is vdu it stand for visual display unit okay this is the another name of uh, monitors now different type of uh, monitors there are crt is a very old technology very bulky uh, monitors it stands for a thought ray cube then there is lcds led plasma monitor then touch screen monitors oled and in latest uh, uh in lcd led oled we are using one special screen that is called tft so tft stands for thin film transistors so it is just like a uh just like a cloth 
ठीक है वेन यू टच द स्क्रीन ऑफ योर एल सी डी और एल ई डी यू फीलिंग लाइक ए यू आर टचिंग एनी कॉटन क्लोथ और समथिंग एल्स ठीक है तो ये इट इज नॉट ऑफ ग्लास मटीरियल तो वी आर यूजिंग टी एफ टी क्लियर इट इज कॉल्ड थिम फिल्म ट्रांसिस्टर इट इज अ डिवाइस विच ईच पिक्सल दैट सेट दी चेन एंड समन दे आर कॉल्ड इट लिक्विड क्रिस्टल the uh, full form of lcd is liquid crystal display full form of lcd then led yes full form of led is light emitting diode yes light emitting sometime we are also calling it display so this is your both are correct one clear so another type of uh, your screens are plasma monitor in this there is a glass screen is used clear then here we use pdp pdp full form is plasma display panel okay this is called pdp the plasma technology utilizes small cells containing the electronical charge uh, gases okay and then create the different color combinations tomorrow uh we will discuss uh, these uh, uh, output devices these monitors in detail okay so uh, then oled optical so, light emitting diode optical organic light emitting display sir please aap पीपीटी या कुछ सेंड कर दोगे ई कंटेंट के चैप्टर के यस डेफिनेटली आई आई विल विल सेंड सेंड ओके इजी हो जाता है लर्न करना यस आफ्टर डिस्कशन देन शेयर ओके ओके स्टूडेंट्स एनी डाउट इन दिस सो दिस इज योर ऑल अबाउट योर प्रिंटर टुमारो वी विल डिस्कस दीज इन डिटेल एंड डिस्कस अबाउट a uh, printer and its different types then speaker plotter and projector okay students time is now over i am going to close the meeting take care bye bye